Welcome to Sculpture Studios. A lovely bit of carving today for a shop window display, and this has actually taken place over the festive holidays. Aidan just can't help himself. Here I am today, just after Christmas, coming to create this. It's like a giant whale. Yeah, it's only about nine foot long, nine foot two. Once I have that drawing, I then start on my traditional gridding up and each one of those are going to be 10 centimetres or 100 millimetres squares. So, let's start the process. I'm here on my own, so I can uh, concentrate and get on with it today. Trusty block of polystyrene. Start to grid it up. So for this project, we're working with a company called Mojo Creative. Now Aidan has known Rod from Mojo for more years than he probably cares to mention, but like Aidan, Rod is one of those old school artists with a real hands-on approach. Uh, speaking of hands-on approach, I don't think scuba diving was absolutely necessary for the research for this project. Notorious particularly for shop window displays in London, Rod's studio specialise in high-end but sometimes unusual finishes tailor-made to the client's needs. The working experience that's built up over the years between our two studios means that any project that comes through our door from Rod is usually an enjoyable one. Not only does he know the kind of work that Aidan loves to take on, but he also knows Aidan and knows what he's capable of which means he's happy to simply let us crack on with the project, no hassle, no fuss, and no worries. Pretty much going solo for this project, Aidan's cutting the peripheral of the shape with his handheld hot wire. From here, he'll then go to town with wire brushes, nail brushes, and, well, you'll soon get the idea. I'm gonna leave this video in a relatively raw state, as it's only the raw polystyrene carving that's our part of the project. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. I'm off to find some whale song for the end credits, so I'll see you guys at the other end. And here we are, here we have Aiden. I guess you could say it's been a while since you've done a bit of carving. Yeah, it has, but that's a bit of a tale to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Blowhole. Let's have a look at that image. That's a concept image <clears throat> we're looking at. Nice happy little whale. Yeah, it's quite nice. And it's going to be covered in um, plastic or waste plastic, which they can't reuse. So for some shop window display somewhere. I'm not sure where exactly, but. It's about nine foot long in total, nine foot two actually. Creating the main body of the whale. And then I'm going, going to add the fins and the flippers and a little water spout on top and the eyes later on. And I'm, I'm going to uh, actually carve in the underside of the belly as well. The little nice groove, grooves on the belly. Yeah, it should look nice when it's done. Happy. That's it. Yeah. Last project of 2020, this is. It, it, literally, because in two days' time it's 21. That is. Look at you working between Christmas and New Year. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> With the carving now nearing completion, Aidan's just adding a few finishing touches before we hand the project back over to Mojo. 
The sculpture is going to be a shop window display at Fortnum and Mason in London. They wanted to display a piece of art that represents their progress in how much non-recyclable plastics they're ceasing to produce as a company each year. The whole idea behind the whale is that they're cutting their production of over 140 tonnes of plastic each year, every year, which roughly equals the weight of a blue whale in the ocean, exactly where we don't want the plastic to end up. The finish of the sculpture is literally taking what they're no longer going to be producing, waste plastic carrier bags and other packaging, and using this to create the artwork on the whale itself. You can see the company colours, the logos and the textures from the carrier bags, which all add to the meaning of the piece, as well as the aesthetic of the sculpture. For anyone wondering about the recyclability of the polystyrene, Rod's going to have this back in the studio later to use on another project more long-lasting. We'd like to thank Rod for approaching us with this project, and no doubt we'll have another project with Mojo Creative coming up very soon. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow Aidan Hines Sculpture Studios on Instagram, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you for watching! There you go, that's the Wow song, that's the best you're going to get.